G'day viewers, Trains 2022 is due out in just a few days time. If you're in the beta because you're a Trains Plus or a Gold Ticket member, then you can play it now of course. Uh, it comes with five routes, one of them will come out in March and that's the new German one, Schwaninger Land. In day one you get Bensdale to Orbost, which is a 1970s to 1980s route. It looks nice, I've been playing it a little bit, it seems to play okay. It's got a few niggles, but... Uh, Hopefully they'll get sorted out. There's Belarik, which is a electrified mountain route in the Ural Mountains. There's a new Kickstarter county to help you uh, learn how to drive trains and to help you mucking about with route editing if that's what you want to do. There's a new UK route, Liskiard to Luz, which looks quite interesting. Haven't played it yet, but it looks like it's got some nice elements to it. West from Denver, the Moffat route. So this includes the Moffat Tunnel. Visually, this one looks really nice. So uh, quite looking forward to having a play with this. It's also got the older locomotives that I like. Now, the other thing that's a pretty major change in this one is the new Surveyor. So let's just have a quick look at that. So it looks quite different, and I'm still getting used to it. It's got some similar sorts of things that it had before. So you've got your, your ground textures and your bits and pieces. Everybody needs a cat. We always need a cat, don't we? Let's put a cat in. There we go. There's a cat. I'm not sure what I added then. Yeah, it's supposed to be a 3D pussy cat. Okay, there's the uh, usual bits and pieces. So scenery splines for things that are... Linear, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. Power lines and the like. Um, there's track elements. Seems to go quite well. There's a lot of different stuff built into it. The different bits and pieces that go alongside, like signalling and bridges and all those sorts of things. Trains themselves, a little bit different to the old editor. And things like grasses now you're just noticing a bit of a pause here it does take a while to load some of this stuff up but overall yeah it's going okay I'm getting used to it starting to let's just um very quickly drop a train onto the track so i've just filtered on victorian railways or vr i want to dump one of the t-class that comes with the bensdale route um, and if you click the little tiny icon here you can do things with it so i want to rotate the vehicle because i want it to be short hood first because i'm like that uh, i think yep yeah, let's edit our properties so let's turn our headlights on uh, don't worry too much about the classification and that's all the old properties that you could change on the other things so that's fine and we'll leave its running number alone ah oh. Let's have a let's have a heavy dirty T class. Ooh, everybody likes to get a bit dirty. What about a head code to uh, two white lamps and number boards? Let's have them on by default. Cab lights are off. External lights are on. Okay, so we can set those things, which is cool. Now let's give it a bit of a train. So we might want a bit of a GY. Pity the picture's not right, but that's okay. Let's just bung on a few GYs. And I think I can. Consist is going the wrong way, but anyway. It's going to be going backwards. I can't. Uh, I'm on the wrong thing. I want to be able to click things. Here we go. And let's see if I can set the properties for all of them. Can. Vehicle properties. Uh, running number is fine. I want to... I want to tarp this thing. That's all I really want to do. There we go. Tarped loads. My beams? No. Crates and pallets tarped. That sounds all right. Let's have six. All right, let's just see what that looks like. Doors closed. I want a yellow tarp. 
and we want the top to be on. Okay. That's only done one of them though. All right, that's fine. Now let's have a look at a Z van. So we need to have a Z van, don't we? There's one broad gauges Z van. Let's just bung you on there. Now I want to set the properties for you. Do you want passengers? No. Newspapers, mailbags, crates. Uh, don't know, half these things do. Eh. I was hoping I could set it so it didn't have broken windows, but maybe not. Oh well. Why did that come up for passengers? Because that just comes into things like this. That doesn't seem right. But anyway, we've set some properties on there. So let's show you the other cool feature. Let me just come into the right mode so we can get away from there. And we're going to, you know, note without saving, we're going to drive because we're brave. And we're going to unpause. Yeah, she's backwards. I thought she was backwards. All right. In fact, it's not believing my reverser at all. Well, let's go into the right thing. Reverse. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at that. All the doors are open. So those properties did do something. Let's just pause that and go back into Surveyor. We can fix those doors quickly. Into the free move. And go back to trains. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't work the way I would have expected it to. All right, I can select things now. I couldn't before. Edit properties. Let's get the doors closed on this thing. And can we change the consist? Rotate the whole consist. Oh, she's the right way around, I guess. But the question is, which way is she going? That's the question. Oops. Yeah, I can set all these things. Now, how do I tell it which way I want the thing to run? I can rotate all the vehicles. All right. I don't want to rotate that one. Rotate that one. That seems fair enough. So it's semi doing kind of logical things. The only thing I haven't figured out is how to change the direction of the logo. Because I want it to be the other way. As in, Longwood forward's fine, but I want it to be driving that way, and I haven't figured that out. That's okay. I will try and get that sorted before uh, Sunday comes along. So I'll show you then. Anyway, looks interesting. Uh, the new surveyor does seem to work quite well. I'm starting to get used to it. It's a little bit different to the old one. Not massively, but uh, the interface is different. Need to learn it. So expect some change. And I expect that'll generate some grumpiness, but that's okay. All right. I will be streaming this on the 9th of January at 8.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. See you then. I'll try and learn a bit more about it before the stream so I don't seem quite so inept. Bye now. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow, or doesn't as the case may be.